Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello my friends and welcome to this new episode of Sartorial Talks. Today we're going to continue our ongoing series of all the different details that you can find on the suit and specifically on jacket and coats. And tonight we're going to focus on a very important feature on every gentleman's jacket or coat. I want to speak about the pockets. I remember uh, I think it was three or four years ago, my good friend G. Bruce Boyer wrote uh, a spectacular article for the big black book of Esquire, uh, and I think the title was Pocket Madness. And he was telling the story on how now, in this new era of classic men's style, uh, people are, have a tendency to put pockets everywhere, and how pockets are becoming an extremely important feature on, the, on any gentleman jacket and suits. Uh, by the way, I remember it very well because I uh, asked him the, the authorization to translate it into French and so I really laughed a lot because you know Bruce is such a good writer and he was just explaining that now you have basically pockets for everything. Tonight I want to revisit with you the basic, the fundamentals because if some of you just uh, do their first steps on the marvelous world of classic elegance and they want to go custom, you're going to be harassed, my friend, by questions. And sometimes it can be overwhelming because your tailor will ask you, uh, what kind of pockets do you want? And I remember me the first time I was asked this question, I said, well, I want Pocket is a pocket for me, for me, that was just a pocket. And so uh, Lorenzo was asking me, uh, Chifonelli was asking me, do you want flap pocket? patch pocket, uh, jetted pocket, and I just discovered, I said, oh my gosh, there's a lot to choose from. Tonight, I'm going to explain to you the basic of this pocket business. Uh, let's start with one of the most classic and simple that you find almost everywhere on suits, and this is what we call a flap pocket. Okay, so a flap, flap, wow, there's many, many history. You know, uh, in classic style, as every subject in life, I suppose there's a history behind every feature. So the flap pocket was invented back in the years, probably in Great Britain, because pretty much everything about the modern suit was invented in the 19th century in uh, the United Kingdom. And um, so the flap was to protect the pockets from the outside aggressions like uh, snow, uh, 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 rain, but also dust, you know, anything, because maybe in the 19th century the roads were not as clean as they are today, and so something could have gone inside of it. So this is why the flap is a protection, basically, but it became more and more some kind of an aesthetic touch. And where if you don't ask not to have flap pockets, uh, it's uh, most likely uh, your tailor or your made-to-measure salon will put on a flap pocket on your suit. But there's one little trick with the flap pockets, is that you can wear them flap or you can push them inside and wear it invisible. You understand? Look at mine. For example, I have two flaps pockets here on this a jacket by a digital quarry in Napoli, and I can do this and actually hide the flap if you want to have a cleaner line, okay? So two things on, on, on this also. You can choose whether it can be square, mine is, is straight, or this one is slightly slanted, we say. You know, you, you, you can see it go a little bit upwards. So you see, only on the flap pocket, you can use it or not use it, you can put it straight, you can put it a little bit slanted, and it can add a little bit of style. If you want something extremely classical, flap pockets, straight, uh, you are extremely classic, but if you want something with a little bit of flair, put your pockets, a ask your mate to measure salon or your tailor to put them a little bit slanted, and it will add a little bit of style to your outfit. So that's the first classic pocket on a uh, man's um, jacket. Then you have my favorite. It's what we call jetted pocket. In Fr I, I love the French word, it's called passepoilé. Poche passepoilé. I like the, the music of it. Uh, so it's a jetted pocket. Well, it's basically a pocket without any flap. And, uh, well, I must admit I'm a little obsessed with that because I, I am so... Uh, involved into classic style, I am so passionate about bespoke tailoring and I love to work with my tailors. Now I have several tailors, but 
my historical tailor Lorenzo Cifonelli in Paris. Uh, we've been speaking a lot about that, and I like that my, specifically when I'm fit, which is the case these days, sometimes I'm a little bit bigger, but these days I'm a little bit, uh, I'm fit, so I like my line not to be, you know, um, uh, annoyed with a flap. So I prefer to wear it like that, without any flap. But this is uh, just a personal taste. And on top of that, if you have a uh, flap pocket, you can hide them. So it's just, you know, which is probably my obsession. But I love it because you can have the beautiful details, you know, how it is um, stitched. You know, you can add a little bit of personality here. So this is the uh, second, called the jetted pocket. And then we go to Italy, because the third pocket is I mean, you can find it in France or in the UK, of course, but uh, it's coming from Italy. It's what we call a patch pocket. And I'm going to show you here. I got a beautiful sport jacket by my friend Ciardi in Napoli. So patch pocket is it's self-explanatory. The two other pockets are inside. You don't see them, literally. This one is outside. You can see the pocket. So it's literally patched on the jacket. This is why we call it a patch pocket. And you see, uh, this is a typical Neapolitan um, jacket. Neapolitan, they, they love to have all these kind of little idiosyncrasies on their uh, jackets. And this one, for example, a patch pocket, as normally, if you do it right according to the Neapolitan gospel of jacket making, uh, it has to have the form of a glass of brandy. In French, we rather say a glass of cognac, and in Italy, they call it tasca di pignata. Pignata in, 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 in Italian is mean a cooking pot. So imagine, you see the, 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 the shape, you put a stem and you have a little glass of brandy or cognac. That's the name of this pocket, which, uh, well, normally it's a little bit more sporty. It's less business and formal than a flat pocket or a jetted pocket, but this is purely Italian. Uh, one little trick. I, I was always um, interested to know how a tailor is positioning, at what height is positioning this pocket. Uh, our friend Nunzio Pirozzi at Sartoria Domenico Pirozzi in Naples has a theory on that. He says, for him, there's no negotiations possible. You have to position your pocket at four centimeters from the bottom of the jacket. Here, it's a, uh, it's a Ciardi, another great Neapolitan tailor. They have a tendency to rather put it a little bit lower at three centimeters from the bottom. Let's say between three and four centimeters, you can't go wrong with a patch pocket. And when we are in Naples, let's stay in Napoli, and we go to the breast pocket. Okay, chest pocket or breast pocket. We can say both. Uh, I have a tendency to say chest pocket, but some people say breast pocket. Okay, as you can see on those two, they are a little bit curved, but this one is more curved. It's what we call, I want you to really see it because it goes like really like that, you know, and really makes it, it has a beautiful curve. This is what we call in Italian la barchetta. I love to say it in Italy, I have the impression I'm almost speaking Italian. La barchetta, mamma mia, uh, which means a little boat, literally. And so, typically, if you go to a Neapolitan tailor, he will, if you ask for a patch pocket, uh, he will add this tasca di pignata, and if you uh, a breast pocket, of course you put a breast pocket, he will do, he will execute for you a barchetta. One other trick for you, one other tip that you have to remember is the position of the breast pocket. Because I've seen, my friends, some catastrophes in my life. <laughs> some people were putting the, 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 the breast pocket literally close to the shoulder, or even worse, too low so that you can't even wear a pocket square because you said, why this guy is putting his, his pocket here? It's very strange. So, rule of the thumb, you take the, the, the um, under of the arm hole and on a straight line, this is where naturally a breast pocket should be positioned by your make-to-measure salon or, of course, by your tailor. Just it's a rule of thumb. Just, you know, on the same line as you're actually on this side for me, your underarm, and then you see the, 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 pat, the breast pocket is well positioned. So, uh, let's move to this jacket. So this jacket has um, uh, flaps, but you can see another pocket here. This is what we call a ticket pocket. 
So ticket pocket was very popular, uh, specifically before the invention of the internet, before we had cell phones, before we had, you know, dematerialized um, money, before we were using um, only credit cards and even now uh, our phones to pay at the grocery store. Back in the years and not so long ago, we used to have small coins, pennies, dimes and nickels always in our pockets. So, and we needed, for example, in Paris or even in New York to have tickets for the metro. Uh, this is why we call it ticket pocket. It's basically to put all these small things, you don't really know where to put them. And then um, this is a, um, we say in, in, in Italian, this is why you put your little bordello, your little messy stuff, you know? And, uh, and it's very handy if you still use coins, for example, or even um, a clip for your um, uh, bank notes. Personally, uh, I thought, I want, um, when with Sonia we prepared this episode, uh, she asked me, uh, you have to show the flap pocket, the jetted pocket, uh, slanted or not slanted, and the patch pocket, and also don't forget the ticket pocket. And I was sure I didn't have one suit or jacket in my wardrobe with a ticket pocket because I don't really use this. I'm the kind of man, I don't go outside too much with banknotes and, and things in my pocket. Actually, I try to have nothing in my pocket. And then I remembered this sport jacket by NH Sartoria in Milano, made in Puglia, the workshop is in Puglia, the south of Italy, and without asking me, <laughs> they put a ticket pocket. So I'm so happy to have one because actually this is the only one of my wardrobe and it was useful for me uh, to have it in order to explain to you about the use of this ticket pocket. And now we're gonna finish with this a curiosity. And uh, this is um, a curiosity which is very interesting because um, it's from Chiffonelli. It's one of my favorite sport jacket. And this one is a curiosity. I just wanted to show it to you because it's a very rare, rare things to see. It's a, 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 a jacket with three patch pockets. Everything is patched. And you see the, even the patch pocket here has been designed reverse. Nobody goes like that. This one goes up like that. And on the, on the, on the chest, uh, it goes on the other side. So it's very interesting pocket. It's a very rare thing to see, a breast pocket made out of a patch pocket. Uh, but I wanted to show you that. So that's for the outside of the jacket. Now let's move quickly and finish with the inside because uh, I remember my friend G. Bruce Boyer in this famous article called the pocket madness. He was speaking of a travel jacket made by one tailor, I don't remember which one, which, which was featuring 18 pockets. Can you believe that? There were pockets literally everywhere. It reminds me a little bit of this, you, you remember this photographer uh, vest, you know, when photographer or cameraman used to have batteries here and pocket there. Now you can find this specifically into the travel jacket. This is the kind of jacket that tailors are crafting for people who are traveling and they ask for many, many pockets. Let me open one, let's, let's try to open this one. Okay, this one by Stephanie in Paris. I want to show you inside. Oh, so that's a classic, nothing special, but one first thing I want you to remember immediately. I don't know if it happened to you, it happened to me uh, several times actually, and uh, to have, um, uh, to meet some pit pockets, or I mean to meet quote unquote, because of course I didn't see them. And um, I didn't have this little feature. You see this triangle? This is nothing, my friend, to ask your tailor or your met to measure salon. And if they don't uh, uh, suggest this to you, you have to insist. Put this little triangle and a button so that your pocket is protected. If somebody wants to put the hand inside, he can't because there's this little thing, it's, it's, it's nothing, it's a few minutes to do this, but it can really, really be important in terms of security. Uh, well, this is a Parisian tailoring jacket, so in Paris we, have the, the, we are used to put this here for a pen, and I like to have this little thing, even if I don't always put my pen here, it's very handy to have a place for your pen, and then of course you have this hidden pocket, well, now it's no more hidden because I tell you, but in most of the jackets uh, on, on men's style, at a certain level and specifically on made to measure and of course on bespoke, you can put your, it's, it's what we call a cell phone jacket. Personal, or it can be also for a small um, um, 
uh, portefeuille, we say in France, for a small wallet, very thin. Personally, I'm not fond of putting things inside my pocket, to be really honest. Actually, I try not to put anything in my pockets in order to protect the line of my suit. I prefer to have a little bag or something to carry. But if you prefer to have your things inside the, the jacket, uh, uh, make sure though that this one can be closed. You can have this one for the pen and, of course, this one for your uh, cell phone or for your wallet if you want. And on the other side, generally, you have just another pocket. But, of course, if you go bespoke, you can ask crazy things to your tailor. You can ask him to do some. I even have a pea coat, me with a, with a pocket, a hidden pocket inside with a zipper here, which is very handy when you want to put some money directly in it. So you see, you can really um, ask anything about the pocket. But remember one thing, here we speak about style. And so the importance of pockets, is, it's more important than you can imagine. Uh, a flat pocket creates a different mood than a jetted pocket. A slanted pocket creates a more dandy-esque, a more refined look than a straight pocket. Less business, a little bit more uh, refined, let's say. Uh, if uh, And patch pocket creates something a little bit more casual. If you want to be very strict, you want a real business suit, you know, to interact for big contracts, to have some meeting with big clients, don't go with, with patch pocket. Patch pocket is for a more relaxed look. Or, of course, if you live in a place which is quite hot and warm, you can go for a patch pocket if you wear your suit of your, or your uh, jacket without a tie, for example. You see, everything is about the balance. Everything is about the detail. And that's the magic of classic style. And that's why all of a sudden you will see, but I have to warn you, if you really step into this world, you will become passionate, I'm sure. And I know so many people, me included, I'm the first of them, uh, where I'm obsessed about the pockets, about the lapels, about things, but that's what makes these things so pleasurable, so beautiful, and so enjoyable. Uh, I give you an appointment to the next episode of Sotorial Talk. We're going to continue our journey inside all the details of the Sotorial world. And in the meantime, stay safe and see you very soon, my friends. Bye-bye.